Greetings everyone. Manupatra brings to you the news highlights of 10th January 2023. Starting with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has refused to entertain application seeking stay of eviction notices issued to occupants of the encroachments within the Kalkaji Temple premises by the administrator appointed as per the directions of the Delhi High Court. The court has held that adverse inference cannot be drawn against a plaintiff in a suit for specific performance for not producing his passbook unless he was called upon to produce it. The Supreme Court has asked the states to submit suggestions to Union Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs on model builder buyer agreement with the mandatory provisions of the RERA Act 2016. The court has directed central government to comply with its earlier order to disburse the arrears under one rank one pension scheme to eligible pensioners of the armed forces by 15th March 2023. News highlights from the high courts starting with the Delhi High Court. The Delhi High Court while dismissing plea filed to restrain Advertising Standards Council of India from creating impediments in broadcast of advertisement has observed that advertisement industry thrives on creativity and freedom of expression and would loathe a government dictated regulation. The High Court has held that reimbursement of medical expenses under Central Government Medical Attendance Rules 1944 cannot be denied on the grounds that the hospital charged an amount in excess of the approved rates in a case where the patient is referred to such hospital the high court has held that promotion under dynamic assured career progression scheme of central health services cannot be made in a mechanical manner solely on the basis of number of years of service without considering employees grading in annual confidential report The High Court has held that in a complaint of sexual harassment inquiry proceeding cannot be quashed merely because internal complaints committee failed to complete the inquiry within 90 days mentioned under section 11 sub clause 4 of Posh Act 2013. The Delhi High Court Bar Association has opened its placement cell to help young lawyers find jobs in established litigation chambers and also started a LinkedIn page to act as a facilitator between young aspiring lawyers and established litigation chambers. News highlights from other high courts in the country. The Bombay High Court while dismissing a man's plea challenging grant of maintenance to his wife has observed that wife's refusal to undergo dna test for ascertaining the paternity of girl child is not sufficient to draw an adverse inference the madras high court while temporarily restraining employees of tamil nadu generation and distribution corporation limited from going on a strike on january 10 or on any future date has observed that since electricity is an essential service if employees went on strike it would affect the public at large this concludes the news for today thank you so much